<laughs> you no mess with Lo Wang. Hi, and welcome to Let's Not Play. Um, we're not going to be Let's Not Playing. We're going to be Let's Let's Not Playing today. Uh, the idea behind this is that I recently heard about the Shadow Warrior reboot, and I, I was a little excited and. You know, the articles about were framed in a way I disagree with, but then the commenters were bitching about the game, and they were essentially doing my job and my divine right to let's not play. And they were saying people should let's not play the reboot for, for other reasons, for, for even, I dare I say, blasphemous reasons. So I, you know, picked up Shadow Warrior off uh, good old games, and I figured I'd do a video about why you why you should give the reboot a chance um so the first thing is these articles opened up by saying like oh they're gonna remove the racist and misogynistic humor that got me because the, the racist humor isn't isn't that all that racist so it makes it sound like it's some fucking white power game or something and the sexist humor isn't that bad either. You know, I haven't played the full game. I don't have full reco recollection of the series. But there were just some naked anime girls. And he'd go like, you want Wash Wang? Ha ha ha. And that's how he always talks too. And it's like, yeah, that's racist. But it's no more racist than Splinter in the Turtle movies. Or whatever the guy was in uh, Big Trouble in Little China. You know, it's, it's not that racist in the long run at least to me so when people are like well they're finally cutting out the racist and misogynistic humor it's not it's not what i remember the series for i remember the series for puns which there are more of like he'll go haha you falling apart after he slices some guy in half now yeah obviously he's talking in a stereotypical way but the, the point the joke there is the pun and I think there's a lot more to it than those puns. I mean, obviously it's hard to be like, no, I don't remember anything. I don't remember the game being racist. And notice me fucking up the smoke bomb here. Um, now I'm gonna try to turn it off, but you can't, idiot. Uh, but I, I remember, you know, it, it being a violent game, it being a fun game, it had neat puzzles, had really nice levels for the time, like outdoors levels with waterfalls and stuff. And I, I think the backlash is these anti-PC people, I'm going to bite it here soon too, who want nothing to be lost, you know? And, and these reboots, I mean, certainly they're, they're rebooting and they're branding it to make money because they feel the association is going to, um, you know, people are going to remember Shadow Warrior and they'll be more likely to buy this game than if they called it... Uh, Day Katana 2 or, or Sword Swinger or whatever. I mean, there's there's an economic interest. So, first of all, the people saying, like, why well, even use the IP? It's not the same game. Just because he, he's not going, fly dice, tee hee hee hee. That's stupid. I mean, obviously, there's an advantage to using the IP. And they kind of have to cut some of it, you know? And I hope they go and make the game violent rather than you know keeping in dumb race humor and dumb you know naked anime girls um because i uh, you know it's like people got mad about anita scorsese who basically got a lot of money to write about video games and write poorly about video games and you know they're still upset about it so they think this is somehow related when it's really not they're making the right choice. It's like the same reason you, you know, the Tomb Raider remake didn't have Lara having, like, whatever Z-cup tits because it wouldn't, it wouldn't have made sense. No one would have bought the game. It would have looked horrific in a modern graphics engine. She would have looked like some monster. So, you know, there's a reason they do these things, and there's a reason they're cutting out this kind of humor because it just won't work nowadays, you know? And that's just how it is. I'm kind of glad they're doing it. But the, the violence is something I hope they don't cut. Because it's a lot more a part of the game, to me, at least. Like, I remember playing this game when I was younger. I remember the puns. But I really remember the violence and, you know, cool stuff. Like, them, the enemies having different ways to die. It just made the game feel varied. In a game where literally all you do is shoot people 
Well, different stuff should happen to him, right? I mean, shouldn't it? You're shooting him? Oh, you could get your ninja stars out of the wall, too. That was always something that was cool. So, I, I don't know. I think violence should be important in a game where all you do is shoot people. Because that's how you get your variety. And... You know, there's another remake recently that I was very surprised with, a, a reboot, um, the Lara Croft one, and I, I feel like they failed in certain ways, but excelled in other ways. The game was very solid at its base, but it, it attempted to make Tomb Raider a little more gritty than it should have, and people got annoyed by that because they're thinking like, well, why, why is why is that man raping, want to rape Lara Croft? It's not what the game's about. So they, they did good on some things, like re-imaging her and, and making her uh, sort of, like, sympathetic, and she's not, like, this weird kind of, like, big-tittied sex kitten anymore. But other things were weird, and, and the game had no violence in it. Uh, it had a little violence in some cutscenes, but you could shoot people in the heads over and over again and you'd never see any wounds and I, I don't know why games are like that now but that's just how it is in, in, in a game where killing is what you do the killing ought to be varied and it's because it speaks to the game and especially when you're using a katana and it's a ninja game and like ninjas are known for like stylistically killing people and it's part of these a lot of asian movies and a lot of culture it's irritating to see it be like oh wow we're, we're just gonna make it look like call of duty where you throw a bunch of you shoot bullets everywhere and nobody ever gets really maimed or anything because it would knock up the rating or something or someone would get angry about it you know, so so that's the main thing. When I read that article, yeah, they said they were cutting out that humor, but they, they also made a good point where they said, you know, they were going to keep things that made it fun. And I, I agree with them in that the, the humor was not what made this series so fun, at least to me. And um, I hope other people agree. I hope, I hope a bunch of... You know, I hope a bunch of morons from like 4chan and Reddit don't encourage everyone to not not even give this a second chance. Um, now, I will say if it's like not violent and th there are no puns or no witticisms in it or anything, then scrap it. I mean, we'll know at E3, but I think there's argument for g giving the game a chance because I was really surprised with Tomb Raider and I think you should give that game a chance too because it was fun I remember like telling people that it's like no it's pretty good and everyone's like I don't believe you it must be horrible it's just not it, it was rather a rather enjoyable game and I hope they can hit the same thing with it but make it still more true to the original because an ideal reboot of this game would have all the humor and all the stuff and all the crap whatever and it would it would and it would be good so it wouldn't compromise and it would be good and it would sell a billion copies but the, the simple fact is i thought there was a secret there the simple fact is we we don't live in an ideal world and you know it's unfortunate I want to bring this to an ideal world, and that's what I'm trying to do with this video series. I need your help. But to get to this ideal world, we have to accept the limitations of our horribly depressing, unideal world. And that's why we're not going to get an amazing, super uh, perfect Shadow Warrior. But ooh, we'll get the second best Shadow Warrior, I think if these guys are honest about wanting it to play like the original and if they keep it violent and keep it fun and fast paced it'll be great i mean it, just remember duke nukem was very fucking duke nukem forever i mean was very uh obedient to the original and it didn't help so i don't think losing a few jokes that are made at the expense of asians is really gonna hurt it uh and this is about you know where the video ends last time i did a cut i got cut off so i'll take these 20 seconds and say thank you for watching this video i hope you look at this game at e3 and give it an honest honest appraisal 